We got a number. Check, check. Can you hear us? Yes, I can. This is Alex. Alex, what's up, dude? Not much, man. Just chickling. How are you doing? We're good. So last uh, Thursday night, we used your uh, your Tommy fan voicemail for our live show. Oh, no way. Legendary. Yeah. It, 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 <laughs> Legendary it, is right. Like to friend. say the least, man. We didn't know it was coming. Nick uh, Nick screened it and made like a little video to put up on, on the big screen. So we reacted the same way, you know, in real time, the same way the audience did. And I got to tell you, it's like my favorite voicemail ever. We now are going to put uh, we're going to put Tommy Fam watch out there and we're just going to like watch him like a hawk all season long to see if he can reach uh, 300. So w- which give me a little bit of background of like how this happened, what the circumstances were and which side are you on? You if you, you get your dick sucked, if he bats 300 or you have to do the dick sucking. No, so uh, I will be getting my dick sucked. <laughs> okay, so yes. that's what makes it so incredible. Okay, <laughs> so so to you guys are sitting that. around one day, and and your buddy brings yeah, it up, or hard. you bring it up. Like, how does it all come about? So we're diehard Padre fans. Uh, he's my best friend. He's also my roommate. We watch every single one of the games, and dude, we you know we made the trade for Tommy Pham, and he's been kind of frustrating for us as a San Diego Padre. And I've always tried to be an optimist. I'm like, dude, just wait, just wait. And then he's, dude, Tommy Pham's about like 219, 220. Mm-hmm. And my buddy's just losing it. He's like, man, fuck Tommy Pham. This dude's absolute trash. I'm like, dude, come on, bro. You got it. And, and then my d- buddy just loses. He goes, dude, I will suck your dick <laughs> if he bats over 300. And not, me, as a guy, I mean, I'm a betting dude, and if someone's going to offer you free blow job, I mean, there's nothing that you have to do on the alternate side. So that dude, was I my question. Bet, easy it's, money. it's not like if he bats 299 this year, you got to suck his dick. It's just like you either get a blow no. job or not, or nothing. Yeah, it's BJ or nothing, man. <laughs> I can't wait. And, and, and so he, he's, he's raised his average like 50 points in the meantime, right? Bro, literally, the day we made the bet, I think he went like three for four. And ever since then, he's been on a tear. He's batting over 270. I mean, he's hitting 271 he, he, currently. He's got some work. I mean, it's we're almost in August, and he's got to raise his average like 25 points. But if he's already raised it like 50, that means he's batting. If you throw out the first chunk of the season where he's batting 219, he's probably batting like 330 right now <laughs> to even make it come close. So I think you and Frank needed to do a bet like this for Lindor. Oh, or something like my that. God. <laughs> I promise you this. I don't care if it's the bet is the sun will come up tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not betting anything where I have to suck Frank Fleming's dick, okay? Because that is just – you just don't I, – I, I said I said a couple of years ago, if Pete Alonso goes for 50 and 120, I will come myself and jump off a bridge. He, pr- he promptly broke the rookie home run record and did just that. I still have Mets fans yelling at me that I need to come myself and jump off a bridge or they're never going to win the World Series. I So anytime you're involving – you know, you're making a bet of involving coming or sucking – you know, you're rolling the dice, but I guess so. So first of all, Alex, if there's a chance, if somehow uh, like game 162, he's batting like 299 or even if he's above 300, but it's right there. We, we want to do an electric chair with you guys. We want we because it would be oh, un- yes. unbelievable <laughs> watching this guy because so he's a down. Padres fan. So maybe, maybe who knows? Maybe there's like a division on the line, or you maybe you want to win, but also at the same time you don't want Tommy Pham to get a hit because then you guys suck your friend's dick. <laughs> so there's a lot of different dramatic storylines to be had there. So we want to uh, we want to do an electric chair if that's possible. But also, our, here's the real here's the million dollar question: Are you rooting for Tommy Pham to bat three hundred? One hundred percent. So you want to get your dick sucked by your friend? I have to, have to, have to let it happen, man. I have to. <laughs> There's no other way around it. Bro, I completely agree with you. Yeah. Like, because you got to teach him. You can't welch on a bet. You made a bet. You lost. You got to suck a dick. It's like the reverse of welching. It's like, well, I got to honor this bet. Like, yeah. You're, the, you're, the, you're To the victor go the spoils, but the spoils are kind of weird because it's going to be the your spoils, friend's mouth on your dick. The spoils are your friend's mouth. <laughs> so do you think you would even get hard for your friend to suck your dick? I don't know. I think it's one of those situations where you just close your eyes and just put yourself into a different zone. <laughs> mouth dude, to mouth, man. Dude, my fucking I, my hope is actually that you kind of can't, like you're drunk. Oh, if, if, but if you, this guy but struggles. But you make oh, him go through. Oh, <laughs> like, I, I, what I like, want to see, bro. You Alex, better blowjob, not not my dick in your mouth, Alex. What's your friend's name? <laughs> 
Carlos. Car- if I want Carlos to have a soft dick in his mouth, <laughs> I want him to be trying to get you hard, trying to get you to come. <laughs> He's disgusted right now. Just fucking pulling it like it's gum on it. Uh, <laughs> and I want Alex to be like, just a little more. It's almost there. Come on, yeah, keep going, yeah, keep going, yeah, keep going. Yeah. No, I can, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I'll get there. I'll get there. I'll get there. Oh my God Almighty. This is fucking. I mean, this is. Forget about Sho- Shohei Otani. <laughs> forget about the rest of Slam Diego. The the storyline of the year right now is Tommy Time Fan Fam. Watch. And and. I will promise you this. I will make sure Tommy Pham knows about this. Oh, yeah. We need to get Tommy Pham to the point that, like, come September, every at-bat, he's like, boy, Carlos is fucked. Man. I am dialed in, dude. Or every time he pops up, he's like, fuck, I'm doing, you know, Alex is not going to get his dick sucked. Tommy Pham's going to find out about this, and whether or not he wants to admit it, it's going to be in the back of his head every at-bat. This is, this is one of the better... Uh, Better storylines ever. So, Alex, we will be keeping up Tommy Fam Watch. This is some real time, like grow the game stuff. Yes, <laughs> like, yes, <laughs> yes. I want, I want to get, I want it to get to a point where like that fucking asshole Jeff Passan has to cover it and be like, <laughs> you know, according to uh, several outlets, uh, Tommy Fam. <laughs> I mean, the the potential is through the roof. So, uh, keep us updated and uh, let us know what Carlos is thinking, and we'll keep up on Tommy Tommy Fam Watch. And come come September. If uh, if there's a chance for some real dramatics, we'll have you guys do an electric chair, right? Oh, absolutely, man! Thanks for everything, guys. Go Padres! Yeah, <laughs> go Tommy! <laughs> like, like, thanks for everything. Like, what? <laughs> we ain't doing shit. You guys are sucking each other's dick. <laughs> oh my god! If you just watched this video, subscribe because subscribing is the only thing that keeps us employed here. Because if we don't work here, we're gonna have to be cold callers dealing with fucking. Or chicken? Well, yeah. Well, 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 or a well, chicken coop razor? A chicken razor? A chicken farmer? I think we just go farmers. Is what they call them? Farmers. Yeah. yeah. Just farmer. <laughs> chicken farmers. I don't want to be a farmer, and I don't want to be a cold caller. So make sure you subscribe to the video. Comment below what, what should we name all six of our chickens that Jackie's going to be taking care of. And how much do we think they cost? Because we're going to get to the bottom of that. Take a guess how much a chicken costs. Jackie's got to pay for it, be. which sucks for her. Yeah. But <laughs> subscribe. Leave a comment.